Hello and welcome to another Switzer update. And the big story this morning was John Simon of Aussie Home Loans fame has looked at his crystal ball and has passed comments on what's going to happen to interest rates, uh, what's going to happen to house prices and uh, what should happen to the Reserve Bank Governor Phil Lowe. Now, uh, interesting point was he says that house prices are likely to rise in 2024. Uh, and why is that the case? Because after nine rises in the cash rate, to 3.35%, it's now a 10 year high. Three out of the four big banks set a cash rate up another half a percent from here. They could be wrong, they're not always right these guys. But he expects because of those rate rises that the Reserve Bank will have to cut rates in 2024 to avoid a steep downturn or a recession. Now, rate cuts, he says, will bring back buyers and that will help house prices, which I guess he's presuming going to fall for the rest of this year. The good news is that CBA sees a 0.5% cut in the December quarter of this year. That's out there as a speculative play as well. But they must be thinking that these rate rises so far is going to hurt the economy. Now, John Simons also doubts um, that the Reserve Bank will cut as quickly as what the CBA is saying. But once again, it's just a battle of people's crystal balls. And uh, John uh, Simon disagrees with Dr. Phil Lowe when he says that rate rises aren't felt straight away by households. He thinks they are. And I've got a funny feeling he knows a fair bit about the way mortgagees respond to interest rates. Um, I came across John in 1992. I was working in the Triple M newsroom in those days, working with the famous radio broadcaster, Doug Mulray. And uh, David White, who was a news director, came to me and said, Switz, who's this guy, um, John Simon? Aussie home loans, never heard of them before, but they've cut their home loan interest rates by 2%. They've undercut the CBA, which didn't make the Commonwealth Bank very happy. And all the big banks, and all of a sudden, they realised that they've got a new kid on the block, and his name was John Simon, and uh, along came Mark Burris as well. And all of these guys really started to stick it to the big banks. And as a consequence, there's been a lot of competition. Um, and it's been, it's been a great thing for Australians. They've saved us a lot of money. If they didn't come along, it might have been a lot longer before competition came. And so this guy's been watching this market a long time, so you can't ignore him when he comes up with some views speculating on what's going to happen in the future. Um, I kind of hope John's right. I hope rate, rate cuts do come. I hope CBA is more right that they come in December rather than next year. But the implication for house prices is important as well, for particularly for people who want to sell now or buy now. All right, let's go and look at the market overnight on Wall Street. Dow Jones down 207 points. NASDAQ down 1.68%. Really interesting story. Google launched its AI um, initiative uh, overnight. I think, I think it was in Paris. And uh, the AI um, operator got it wrong. I asked a question, got it wrong. That's not good for AI. If it's going to be valuable, it's going to have to be accurate. And the market really smashed Google as a consequence. And Google, uh, or Alphabet, as the, the family, the company um, that, that owns Alphabet, uh, is listed in the Dow Jones. That's what part of the reason why the Dow was down. And also the NASDAQ as well. Interestingly, 69% or um, 297 of the 500 companies in the S&P 500 index have reported, and 69% uh, of them uh, have so far beat analyst expectations. That's not bad, considering that the US economy has been suffering interest rate rises you know, for a big chunk of last year. So not a bad performance, and it could be a reflection that a soft landing for the US economy is a chance. Remember, company reporting earnings actually tell you about what's going on in the big companies of America. So um, that's not a bad report. Keep our fingers crossed that it is actually alluding to a, a, a slowdown of, or a soft landing more importantly. If that's the case, that's going to be great for stocks, particularly in the second half of this year. That's my update for today. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you tomorrow.